The news are dopamine. I have a good plan. The gates will learn about five children such as Amber, Rosie, Kalu, Kilo Ren, and Penny Forrester got five tickets. So this is the new sign off. Kalau, I can't believe you got golden ticket with a Wonka bar. Can you read it and say it? Sure, Gru. Why not? Greetings to you, the lucky finder of this golden ticket, from Mr. Wonka. I shake you warmly by the hand. For now, I do invite you to come to my factory and be my guest for one whole day. I Willy Wonka, will conduct you round the factory myself, showing you everything there is to see and afterwards, when it is time to leave you will be escorted home by a procession of large trucks, each one filled with all the chocolate you could ever eat, and remember, one of you lucky five children will receive an extra prize beyond your wildest imagination, now. Here are your instructions, on the 1st of February, you must come to the factory gates at 10 a.m. sharp. You are allowed to bring one member of your family to look after you until then. Willy Wonka Nice read K. Lau. let's get on the rocket. Groove where did you get that ticket? None of your business. Now get lost. Wah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah. No 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 no. Oh yeah. Groo. How dare you go to the chocolate factory. That's it. You are grounded for 28%. I will kill you so hard right now. Wah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-
What did I just said? Do not drink in the chocolate river. Do you hear me? Ah, ah, ah. Hey, where do you think you're going with the pipe? Just stay away for that pipe. Emperor, you're pushing your luck. That's it. You emperor are banned for chocolate factory. Plasma. Take her to the birthday cake soda room right this moment. Okay, Mr. Wenka. Oh, the boat is here. All the boat everyone. We're going somewhere. All right. You're going to love this. Just love it. We're here. At inventing room. And remember. Don't. Touch. A thing. Guys. I got you something. This. Is called. Everlasting gobstopper. You can whatever you want. One for you. One you you. One for you. And. One for Penny Forrester. Rosie. You are not supposed to eat gingerbread man. But I didn't do anything. No 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 no. Well then. Han Solo. Take her to the juicy room. For smash before they explode. Now go. And Rosie. You're banned for chocolate factory. Okay guys. Let's go. And take your everlasting gobstopper. Thank you. Hey. Look. The strawberry. Tastes like a strawberry. The snozberry tastes like a snozberry. Oh, whatever. Come on guys, okay guys. We are at golden eggs. If it's a good egg, try not to do anything. But, if it's a bad egg, down the chute. Gru, I want of that golden goose now. Okay young boy. Wonka, how much of the golden goose? Name your prize. Well, there are not for sale. He cannot have one. That's it. You are going to pay for this. I am going to down the chute. Where are he's going? He's going to the garbage. Where are he's taking to? To the furnace. He's stuck inside too. What? Furnace? No 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 no. Kalao, I'll got you. Now Kai you are banned for the chocolate factory. Come on you guys let's go. Guys. This is a Wonka mobile. Hop on and get ready for white bubble. Yay. I love bubbles. I glad you like it young girl and minion. Alright guys. Let's ready. Wow. Look at all those bubbles. I want to play it. Oh yeah. You're right. That's it everyone. Bubbles are over. Alright guys. Come this way. Now this is a Wonka vision. Everyone need a chocolate. Yes 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 yes. Bring the chocolate back to me. Come on, come on. Ben. Get away from back there. Lights. Camera. Action. Ben where are you? Ben where did you go right now? No 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 no. It is happening again. Watch the screen. Ben. I saw you on television. Give me my hand. Hey Penny Forrester. Want it someone kabar? Yes please. Ray. Very well. Here. It's real. Tasted it. It's yummy. Go nem nem nem. It's wonderful. Perfect. Then I going to take this. Take her to the tacky puller. Okay. Now Kyla Ren are banned for chocolate factory. And Penny Forrester and Minion. You want it every day. I will take you a Wonkavator. This is a great glass. Wonkavator. Go on Penny Forrester. Press that red button. Penny Forrester. You can have it all the factory and everything. It's yours. Wow. Thanks Mr. Wonka. You are the best. Emperor. How dare you drink to the chocolate river. That's it. You are grounded for 100 days. Go to your room now. Rosie. How dare you eat gingerbread man and turning you into blueberry. That's it. You are grounded for 100 months. Go to your room now. I already am in my room now. Oh really? Okay. I mean, stay in your room right now. Kalao, how dare you down into the garbage chute. That's it. You are grounded for 100%. And now, I am going to shrink you. Now I am leaving now. Goodbye. Ben. 
How dare you going to TV with Owen Kabar? You are grounded for four days. Go your room now. Morning Mac Jazzy Snack. Good morning Che, what would you like for breakfast? I would like to have omelettes on toast please. Okay and where is Xi, still in bed? Yeah he said he didn't feel too good this morning so he stay in bed. Oh, poor Xi. I must go up and see if he's alright. Xi, bestie. Are you okay? Don't think so. I have a stomach and it's really bad. Oh dear. Poor bestie. You don't look well at all. I think you should stay in bed today. Oh, it really hurts my bestie. Do you want me to bring you a soda? It will help with your stomach ache. Yes, please. Che, do you mind keeping C company while I go and get a soda? You got it, bro. That's wonderful. I'll be right back. Hiya, bro. What's wrong? Z is sick. The poor bestie has a stomach ache. I'm just going to make a soda for him. Oh my gosh. My poor bestie. I know, and the poor bestie looks so pale, bless him. Bro, Tang, E, and Pang, you need to come quick. What's wrong, Che? It's Tsang, you need to come quick. We're coming, T. Just hold on. My stomach. It's really hurting. I can't stand up. It looks pretty serious. I think we might need to take him to the hospital. I'll go and alert the hospital then. It's going to be okay? Well, I'm not sure, Che. Let's just get Bestie to the hospital. So, Doctor, do you know what's wrong with C? Well, it looks to me like it could be appendicitis. Holy crap! Is there anything you can do? Of course, we will take Tse down to the operating theater and we will remove the appendix. Ah, uh, do something, anything. I can't bear this agony a moment longer. It's going to be okay, bestie. This operation will make you feel better. Okay, now I'll need the six of you to go and wait in the waiting area whilst take Tse down to the operating theater. What? I'm terrified. Don't worry, Tse. The operation will be over before you know it. And this operation will make you feel much better. Okay, I'm taking Tse down to theater now. Hey bro, is Tse is going to die? No. Of course he isn't. He's just got a really bad stomach ache and he just needs a little operation to fix it. What's the appendix? Well, the appendix is a type of organ just near the stomach and sometimes it can get infected. So, that is what Se has, and this operation will make it go away. Yes, it will. Your bro is going to be okay. The operation was a success. Se is going to be just fine. Oh, that's great news. Can we go and see him now? Of course, but he's fast asleep at the moment. Oh, bless him. He looks so peaceful. Do you know when he'll wake up? Well, he's sedated at the moment so that it will be easy for the antibiotics to work, but I'm pretty sure he will wake up once the sedation has worn off. I honestly thought that Seth was going to die. Well, it looks like he will be making a full recovery. Okay, I'll let you spend some time with him now. What? See, si. Bestie. Bro, where am I? You're in the hospital, C. You have appendix taken out. Oh, yeah. I remember that. You scared me to death. I thought you was done for. How are you feeling, C? A little funny, but I think my stomach is now gone. That's because the operation you had fixed that. It was like it didn't happen. All I remember is laying on a bed in a big white room in agony, and then the next minute I woke up here with you all around me. Well... The doctor did say it would be over before you knew it. Are you okay, C? I'm sleepy. Would it be okay if I went back to sleep for a little while? Of course you can. You're still recovering from your operation so you get plenty of sleep. Will you all be here when I wake up? Of course we will. Go to sleep now, bestie. <laughs> 